Jess, welcome to the channel. My name's Rob and today is All Saints Day and I want to know more about some of the traditions that happen on this day in Poland. If you do enjoy this, please do help me out. Click the like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. There are thousands of people around and the streets are blocked off. Police are everywhere, stopping cars from coming in. But this is not a major sporting event and it is not a big ticket concert happening in Warsaw. This is the 1st of November, Warsaw. All Saints Day, one of the most important and magical days in the Polish national calendar. And in today's episode of Heart Poland, we're going to go behind the scenes and take a look at this incredibly extraordinary experience. The only thing I have heard about is from Paulina, who is my, well, teaching me Polish, is that people go to the grave sites and it is turned orange from all the candlelight. Uh, uh, so what an awesome experience that must be. And I'm assuming it's it's thinking about your loved ones that you've lost, um, but a kind of a more of a communal time. So we're in the Pomonsky Military Cemetery in the heart of Warsaw. And this is one of the most important and most impressive cemeteries uh, that I've certainly ever come to. And I remember when I first came to Poland and I first went to a cemetery on All Saints Day, and I was completely blown away by the extraordinary experience that you can now see before you as well. On this day, Poles flock to the cemeteries where their loved ones, uh, former family members, um, are buried. And they go because they want to pay respect to those people. They clean the graves, they leave behind these extraordinary votive candles, wreaths and flowers in order to remember people that were close to them. Uh, it's a beautiful day because of course, as you can see behind me, the cemetery suddenly become filled with life, filled with colour. And then as the evening descends, the extraordinary sight of a sea of candles in the darkness. I'm just thinking, so over in the UK, we don't, I don't think we have this. I know we've got All Saints, the school's called All Saints, but I don't know if we've got an All Saints day. But if we're talking about graveyards and things, when people pass away, sometimes the gravestones are looked after for the first few years. But then the amount of times you'll go there and the gravestones are filthy, wrecked. Um, they're just not kept tidy and clean. Um, so you've got the element of that, that actually the, the, your loved ones are not forgotten. They're not, uh, their grave sites are there as a real um, memory that you can go to and visit and it's, and it's clean, tidy and well-maintained. But also if you think about the time of year, I think this sort of time is really nice because it's autumn. So it's turning brown. So then when you add that real pow of, of color, um, of the, the yet look, if you look behind, for example, the yellows, the reds, the oranges, and then the flames as well. I think the time of year kind of suits perfectly as well for the, just the color scheme of things. Poles coming together to celebrate their culture and tradition and the people that they love. Just beautiful. Now the origins of All Saints Day lies in a mix of Slavic and Catholic traditions, but it is part of the official Catholic calendar and it's celebrated throughout Europe. But nobody does it quite like the Poles. The cemeteries come alive with these rippling layers of light. And if you were to fly above Poland uh, on this day and in the days ahead, you just see these, these cemeteries which have literally just spring to life with light. One of the things that I find most uh, extraordinary about this day is some of the customs that Poles practice. And one of them is that if they find a grave, say, close to the one where they're visiting and cleaning, that hasn't been cleaned and doesn't have votive candles or flowers, then they'll lay a candle of their own. That's the nice. The Pawonski Military Cemetery is also one of the most extraordinary places, I think, in Warsaw, because it holds the graves of so many of the 
Polish soldiers, men and women who fought for Poland's freedom and Poland's sovereignty. I'm just thinking that, you know, I don't need to worry about the religious side of it, where if it came from, obviously All Saints is, is a religious um, thing, but put that aside, put that aside. Um, just, you know, what I mean is you can just focus on that day as a day of remembering. It's just a day of remembering and, and taking care of the memories of your loved ones. And I love the fact that people actually, you know, if, if they see next door that the, the grave is, is unkept, they will actually tidy it up, put a candle on it as well to show that actually people care. One of them here. A soldier who died in 1944 in the Warsaw Uprising, uh, who was not known, whose identity is unknown. And somebody's come here and just lain two candles in that person's memory. So lovely. Of course, each of these graves is a story, a person's life story. And whilst the stories that are contained here in Warsaw's military cemetery are extraordinary, full of courage, daring do, adventure and sacrifice, what I think is particularly compelling about All Saints Day in Poland is the way that families come together, frequently meeting uh, for the first time in months, to go to the graves of the important people in their family and remember them. And this is true not only if you're older, but also if you're a child as well. And it's this sense that Poles are keeping together their tradition as families and as a nation by carrying out this simple but powerful act all together, all in one day. Very nice. I think if I look at my family tree, I don't remember my mum's mum's mum. So my grandma, I don't remember her. Uh, I don't even know her name, but I know my sisters do remember now, if there was a, a, a sort of an event like this each year, it passes down someone's name for longer, doesn't it? You know, so if you think about it, you know, my grandma has been forgotten within a few generations. But if we had an occasion like this, the name would last longer. And that's what you want, I think. When I, when I pass away, I just want people to remember me, I think. Remember I was a good person and remember me. And I think having something like this helps achieve that and, and it's special. Of course, people also come to cemeteries to look at the graves of other people and to think about their extraordinary lives. And you can see the number of people and the number of candles that lot. have come here uh, and laid in tribute of Kazimierz Dana, one of Legia Warsaw's most famous and accomplished football players. Mm -hmm. And the Pomonsky Cemetery, like so many cemeteries, is full of colourful characters leading colourful lives who on this day are being remembered by people who they've never even met before. And of course, because of Poland's traumatic and troubled recent past, Polish cemeteries are filled with the graves of people who have gone through immense sacrifices for Poland's freedom. And nowhere perhaps tells that story better than in this part of the Wonski Military Cemetery, which pays tribute to the soldiers who were killed and whose bodies were suspected to be dumped somewhere in this cemetery but have never been found by the communist authorities. Among them, Captain Witold Pilecki, uh, the soldier who's most famous for volunteering to go into Auschwitz and set up the underground resistance there before escaping, fighting in the Warsaw uh, Rising, and then being captured and executed by the communist authorities. And whenever I come to Pavonsky Military Cemetery, I always light a candle in his honour, like so many people I need have to done learn about. on this particularly moving day. Why is All Saints Day so important in Polish history, in Polish culture uh, and today? What does it mean for you? I think it's uh, mainly down to the fact that we're a very religious nation uh, by nature. Uh, and uh, this is the day where we uh, remember, commemorate uh, our uh, lost ones, but also our fallen heroes. 
uh, and this uh, this is really ground zero as far as uh, Polish martyrdom uh, is concerned, right? I, I I don't think you need to include religion in that. I, the, it's like I said, it was probably started up because of religious reasons. But nowadays, it doesn't matter how religious you are. You know, if you if you know me, I am zero, no, not point, not 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 one percent uh, a believer. Um, I don't. I, I, but this isn't about religion anymore. This is about remembering. People from the past, your loved ones, your family that have passed away, get rid of the religion side of this. This you don't need to think about that. It's it's your loved ones, um, and, and yeah, it, it just doesn't need to be brought up. But it's so special, uh, it really, really is. Right. Okay, so t tell me about some of the graves you've been visiting with your family today. Uh, we've really just arrived, so this was uh, our first uh, point uh, where we were where we wanted to go. Uh, but we'll definitely be visiting uh, the Smolensk Memorial um, and uh, other uh, military military graves of uh, the young scouts uh, that fell uh, in the Second World War, uh, the uh, Home Army uh, quarter the National Armed Forces Quarter. So we'll definitely be visiting those places uh, because for us it's, uh, well, we just can't imagine ourselves being anywhere else today, right? This is, this is uh, uh, like a, 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 um, a life history lesson uh, for them. And is it important to you that your children accompany with you uh, as you go to the graves of the people in your family and the people of your loved ones as well? Yeah, because this is uh, the best opportunity to basically tell them the stories, uh, just to uh, make them aware of our history, uh, make them aware of uh, the sacrifice that this nation uh, had to bear uh, to achieve its freedom. Now you're here in this particular section because you're commemorating someone who's very important to your family, I understand. Can you, can you tell his story? Uh, right, uh, we don't really have the time to tell, uh, to tell you the entire history because uh, my grandfather, Major Karol Senk, uh, was, well, he basically dedicated his entire life uh, to fighting for uh, Poland's independence, right? Uh, since his teen years, uh, where he was arrested uh, for tearing down uh, the emblem of the Prussian consulate uh, in Warsaw, uh, up to 1952. Uh, when uh, he was uh, murdered by uh, the communist government. Uh, and he's somewhere here, yeah? This is, no, uh, no, because uh, these are actually the identified, uh, the identified men. Thank God that so many of them already have been. Uh, but we're still waiting. Um, patiently, hopefully, uh, for, for the end success that, that will be uh, the identification of his, of his earthly remains. I think he brings up a fantastic point. Now, obviously, like I said, it's remembering and telling the children about their family members that have passed away. I think that's so important. But it's also another reason to get children involved about what's happened throughout history. Um, and, and obviously, Poland is a, is a big one for this, about some of the awful things that have happened in Poland. And it's it's same as Remembrance Day, which is coming up as well. But it's trying to make children learn and tr and and help help stop awful things happening again. It's it's trying to stop things repeating themselves. Now, funny thing is, these awful atrocities do seem to just happen over and over again. But you've got to try and make the younger generation have it and and learn about it so that. Hopefully, people learn from mistakes, learn from awful things that have happened in the past. Why have you come to the Pavonsky Cemetery today? Because this is, like, for me, uh, very important and for my country. Um, because, like, here are um, some of people that die here and I just came, came here just to show them that that I'm not, they are important for me, <laughs> me that way. And have you visited any of your family's graves here in the cemetery or elsewhere? No, I'm going to visit my family tomorrow. And, and do you think this, um, this uh, Schwente, do you think it brings your family together? Is it important to you and your family? Yes, in some way it's very important um, because 
this is like here is army of my country and they are they just um died for just me to be free right now and i just show them that i didn't forget about that they here now we deliberately come to this cemetery as night falls because this is when these cemeteries become so magical they literally glow with the sight of hundreds of thousands of candles burning not just for this night but for many nights to come as the poles come to these places and remember their dead remember their families remember the people who fought for their freedom and their sovereignty now uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of Heart of Poland. Please do share this film so that other people can learn about this special day. I can think of nothing better now than to leave you with the sight of this cemetery in the darkness, glowing with these thousands of candles. So beautiful. Well, there you go. Um, I've, I've mentioned a lot of things in the video already about how as a younger person, you know, it's it's amazing to remember your family. Uh, it's it's also a way, another way of teaching your children some of the bad things that have happened and, and, and the sacrifices people have made. Now, we don't have this in the UK. We don't have this um this special time where you go to the graves and you and you the, tell the stories and it's such a shame and i'm going to tell you briefly i'm going to tell you briefly the other weekend we were sitting around for a sunday roast and it was myself charlie my nan my mum stepdad sister and i found out a little bit about my family now, my grandma, who I told you earlier, I didn't know anything about. I found out that she actually married a Polish man called Wojciech. I think he was from, he's either from Warsaw or Krakow. Uh, one of them, I can't remember now. Um, but basically, he fled to the United Kingdom, to England, because his wife and two children were murdered. He came to England uh, he married my grandma, and so he was my my nan's stepdad. Um, he ended up passing away four years, 1994 or six, I think it was, um, in a mental institute. Uh, really sad, but I didn't know anything about it, and I recently found out, and uh, maybe I can sit down with my nan and uh, learn a little bit more for you guys as well so there you go i actually do have sort of a link to poland in my family so thank you so much for watching a really really awesome awesome occasion for for poles to have and i'm, I'm pretty sure like i said all saints day is in other countries um but maybe poland make it a little bit more special please do like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time mm -hmm.